Diphtheria is a serious disease caused by a toxin made by a type of bacteria known as Coronibacterium diphtheria. The toxin alters protein function in people with the condition. Currently, there are several species of the gram-positive bacteria recognized by scientists. Respiratory diphtheria manifests as a sore throat with low-grade fever in an adherent pseudomembrane of the tonsils, pharynx, or nose. Neck swelling may be present in severe cases of the disease. Another form of the disease is known as cutaneous diphtheria. People with this condition have infected skin lesions which typically lack a characteristic appearance. Diphtheria spreads by person-to-person -person transmission through contact with respiratory secretions when an infected person coughs or sneezes and by direct contact with cutaneous lesions. A person can spread the disease for up to two weeks after infection. Respiratory diphtheria starts like a cold with sore throat, mild fever, and chills. Next, the diphtheria toxin makes a thick coating on the back of the nose or throat. It may be blue or grayish green. The coating on the throat can get so thick that it blocks the airway so the person can't breathe. The diphtheria toxin can even attack the heart, causing abnormal heart rhythms and even heart failure. It can also attack the nerves, which leads to paralysis. According to the CDC, about 1 out of 10 people who get diphtheria dies. In children younger than 5 years of age, as many as 1 out of 5 children with the condition die. Fortunately, there is a vaccine. The vaccine is a shot that helps the body to build up protection against the diphtheria toxin. The diphtheria vaccine does not offer lifetime protection from the disease, and boosters are needed to keep up protection from diphtheria. To learn more about Coronibacterium diphtheria and diphtheria, or other health and safety, environmental, and indoor air quality issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.